we came back from the yard, but when we was in the yard playing ball, y'all was like, as soon as I go up, I'm going to the hole. I'm like, man, you don't get your little dirty ass in the shower? They bumped traffic off of, off of G2, but right on F2, he had the water fountain. He tried to run from Yaz. Chubb's silly. Yaz's sticky. He take off the other way. Chubb's cranky with a two-piece. He go down by the phone. Yaz starts stuffing him. He stab him again. Chubb sit on him. Start sticking him in his head. He digged him. He digged him, dude. I ain't gonna lie. They, they probably gonna PC books, bro. Young boy getting tortured, bro. This is third day in here, bro. This is the second time he got tortured already, bro. Imagine sitting in a gymnasium with 1,200 random people in the stands. Now imagine you and three of your homies just sitting there and talking about stabbing people in jail and naming your homies' names. If these are what your friends are like, what do we need enemies for? I cannot believe what's going on in my city right now. This is just a little quick video while I work on my Hop Out Blick and PNB Torches video. In the last two weeks, Lil Bucks, Leaf Ward, FS The Bender, and a couple other people got booked. Leaf Ward was over in King of Prussia and was caught with a stolen car, a gun, and pills on him, according to this. Now, Buck's situation is unknown to me at this time. I don't know what he's booked for, and I haven't really looked into it. As a matter of fact, I haven't looked into anything in this video in terms of research. Everything we're about to talk about just popped up on my Instagram, except for this article about Lee Ford's arrest. Upper Marion Township police arrested the 26-year-old rapper at a restaurant next to the King of Prussia Mall on Wednesday evening, the latest in a series of jailings of drill stars that have shaken the scene's fan base, said the article. Ward was charged with three felonies, court records show, including possessing a firearm that he was barred from owning because of a prior felony conviction. He was also charged with evading and resisting arrest, recklessly endangering another person, and providing false identification to law enforcement and several drug-related misdemeanors. He's being held in a Montgomery County Correctional Facility on a $150,000 bill. Upper Marion Police said they'd been tipped off by surveillance cameras that a black Dodge Challenger reported stolen in Philadelphia in July was traveling towards a restaurant driven by Leaf Ward. According to the report, Ward was drinking at the bar with a woman when police called a tow truck to remove the vehicle. Noticing the commotion, Leaf went outside, saw the officers, and ran back inside the restaurant. After dashing through the kitchen and ditching a black Glock 40 caliber handgun with an extended magazine, Ward was ordered to the ground at Taser Point, police said. Leaf Ward allegedly told police that his name was Omar Washington, Officers say they recovered a plastic pill bottle labeled bum feet from the Challenger as well as a white plastic bag that police say resembled MDMA and ecstasy. Leaf Ward had numerous active arrest warrants sworn out against them, according to police, including one from the state attorney general's office for felony weapons offenses. Now this is all according to police, so take that for what it's worth. Law enforcement is known to sometimes make things look different than they really are, but who's to say at this point? THF Philly reported the night it happened that Leaf got booked. Someone that works at Bahama Breeze and King of Prussia sent either THF or the Steppers page on Instagram a pic of Leaf Ward's gun that he allegedly threw in the trash, according to this person. When I was growing up, People bragged about their sexual conquests or how much money they had or the plans they had for making moves. That's mostly what people bragged about. The most federal people would go on camera or in songs talking about maybe beating someone up or something like that, but nothing crazy. Now, people brag about bodies and wreck and beg for their enemies to quote, come get back. Literally saying, you're a bitch if you don't come kill me and one of my homies. Like, what the fuck is going on? I just released a video called Philly Rappers Going Fed, and I had to watch numerous Instagram lives of these clowns talking shit on live, just clout chasing to the fullest. It's actually funny to watch, 
but it's really not. Bro. <laughs> Yo, we about to be on them pages, bro. This shit cranking. He said the nigga sit, sat on top butt start dicking him all in his head. This shit is real. Like, smash on him like that, bro. They said, they said bro. on him and start seeing him in the bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Hey, it's about to be a video. Like, y'all mean how King Von videos was coming out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Videos going to start coming out. No, it ain't. These dudes are so ignorant of what they are doing to themselves and how much ammunition they are giving authority. And like I said in the last video, maybe they know and just don't think, or just think it's not gonna happen to them. They not gonna be the ones to get arrested. But Lil Bucks was allegedly stabbed in jail according to YBC themselves. Band up Yaz, according to YBC, caught Bucks as soon as he touched down when he got locked up. Bucks kinda confirmed it but he said it was just in the arm. Before I get any comments about how I'm doing the police's job for him, I didn't have to search for any of this. Everything you've seen in this video was posted by them on the internet, knowing it stays on here forever. These guys can't be mad at anyone but themselves. I, at one point in time, was part of the streets and the street culture. I understand what growing up poor in Philly is like. But the empathy stops with self-incrimination and murdering innocent civilians. Out of all the drill music I'm forced to listen to because of this channel, maybe 5 to 10% of it is actually good, if that. The rest is complete trash. The circumstances needed to create this type of environment is insidious. That little buck started taking off, bro. He started running like he was running for that nigga my running man. like niggas was throwing that switchy ass. They said, my man, y'all talking still. Come here. <laughs> yo, well, he's mad. The nigga crazy. said, y'all said, like, yo, I'm about to go to the hole. Like, yo, this shit. Nigga said he bumped traffic. Like, they said he bumped traffic, though. He bumped traffic. He, like, he on some this shit. Yeah, he wanted that wreck right he there. He wanted that. He no, no, you know what he really wanted to do? I ain't gonna lie, you know. He wanted that cheese. He heard him go put that cheese on his head. They say, oh, no, I ain't do nothing. Oh, no. I was trolling, bro. I was trolling, bro. I was trolling. I was trolling, bro. I ain't giving nobody no cheese. But Joe, why be see trying to get, they trying, y'all trying to get back on the Joe. If I, if I said, we deep in the if I catch buckets, I'm not it coming like, home. It is like everybody just us, like. Weird. It's like everybody just us. It's like everybody just us. He can't go nowhere in the jail. He can't go nowhere on State Road. He can't even go to the youth right now, bro. bro he goes yeah, to the youth. Deep in the yeah, he he can't even go to the youth. No, no, no. If he go to the youth, I put everything I love. My little brother going to smash him. Weird. Hey, yo, listen. Listen. Him you know who he here. don't want to run to over here, bro? Y'all know who he don't want to run into over here? Y'all don't, y'all know? Oh my God, he, and he just got out the hole. He don't want to run into 30, bro. 30 said bro, he trying 30, to catch bro. the hole. Bro, 30 <laughs> said he catching it. Yo, 30 said he catch any op, he catching the jailhog body. He not playing, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna a lot. He did serious though. Bro, well, well, he's <laughs> no, all that. Bro. I ain't gonna lie though. If he running the hum is old. Bro, I'm gonna the bean. Niggas don't want to run in the curry, bro. I'm gonna kid the bean. They, they, that full dangerous thing, bro. He taking niggas. Keep taking the bank. They said 30 fresh. They said 30 fresh out the hole. He fresh out the hood, way in the catch some new I mean, fresh out the hood, wanting some red. Nigga just, yo, nigga some just new red. He trying to wait. He slapped the nigga with a tablet. Somebody, somebody like, got slapped with a tablet? 30 <laughs> slapped the nigga with a tablet. Like, like two days ago. I'm not trying to preach. Those are just my thoughts this morning. Look out for that Hop Out Blick and PNB Torches video. Don't grind me up if something else comes up in the meantime and I drop another video before that one. Just like with the YBC videos, they take a while to do so I can do the best research possible. Every time I rush one of them drums, I end up missing something, getting something wrong, or leaving something out. So just stay, just stay on the lookout and don't forget to like and subscribe and y'all be safe. They said, dude, what's your drum story? I got stuck. <laughs> hey, 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 do it, chill, dude. I, I ran into that, the though. big ass bull with Lawhi, bro. Why? Jay said, bro, you always talking about Bud, bro. You said, when you get booked, 
Yo, I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie. I stood, I stood on 10 though. I ain't care. Said the nigga can't ask you about what he called dudes and nigga. I'm smoking buddy out the motherfucking pen. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about, they talk Yo, about yeah. old head said it's cool. Yeah, old head said to do. Dude, um, I'm gonna smoke you when you get out there. Dude says, cool, I'm gonna smoke you too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> hey, dude. dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. He ain't gonna cook you. <laughs> he no, said, I ain't. No, that was really women, bro. <laughs>